In this video, we will discuss 10 natural ways to lower your cholesterol. Before starting the video please subscribe to my channel. And press the bell icon for more videos. 1. Focus on monounsaturated fats. As opposed to saturated fats. Unsaturated fats have at least one double chemical bond. That changes the way they are used in the body. Monounsaturated fats have only one double bond. Although some recommend a low-fat diet for weight loss. A study of 10 men found a six-week low-fat diet reduced levels of harmful LDL, but also reduced beneficial HDL. In contrast, a diet high in monounsaturated fats reduced harmful LDL, but also protected higher levels of healthy HDL. 2. Use polyunsaturated fats, especially omega-3s. Polyunsaturated fats have multiple double bonds that make them behave differently in the body than saturated fats. Research shows that polyunsaturated fats reduce bad LDL cholesterol and decrease the risk of heart disease. For example, one study replaced saturated fats in 115 adults. Diets with polyunsaturated fats for 8 weeks. By the end, total and LDL cholesterol levels were reduced by about 10%. Another study included 13,614 adults. They replaced dietary saturated fat with polyunsaturated fat, providing about 15% of total calories. Their risk of coronary artery disease dropped by nearly 20%. 3. Avoid trans fats. Trans fats are unsaturated fats that have been modified by a process called hydrogenation. This is done to make the unsaturated fats in vegetable oils more stable as an ingredient. Many margarines and shortenings are made of partially hydrogenated oils. The resulting trans fats are not fully saturated, but are solid at room temperatures. This is why food companies have used trans fats in products like spreads, pastries and cookies. They provide more texture than unsaturated, liquid oils. 4. Eat soluble fiber. Soluble fiber is a group of different compounds in plants that dissolve in water and that humans can't digest. However, the beneficial bacteria that live in your intestines can digest soluble fiber. In fact, they require it for their own nutrition. These good bacteria, also called probiotics, reduce both harmful kinds of lipoproteins, LDL and VLDL. 5. Exercise. Exercise is a win-win for heart health. Not only does it improve physical fitness and help combat obesity, but it also reduces harmful LDL and increases beneficial HDL. In one study, 12 weeks of combined aerobic and resistance exercise reduced the especially harmful oxidized LDL in 20 overweight women. These women exercised three days per week with 15 minutes each of aerobic activity including walking and jumping jacks, resistance band training and low-intensity Korean dance. 6. Lose weight. Dieting influences the way your body absorbs and produces cholesterol. A two-year study of 90 adults on one of three randomly assigned weight loss diets found weight loss on any of the diets increased the absorption of cholesterol from the diet and decreased the creation of new cholesterol in the body. Over these two years, good HDL increased while bad LDL did not change, thus reducing the risk of heart disease. 7. Don't smoke. Smoking increases the risk of heart disease in several ways. One of these is by changing how the body handles cholesterol. The immune cells in smokers are unable to return cholesterol from vessel walls to the blood for transport to the liver. This damage is related to tobacco tar, rather than nicotine. 
These dysfunctional immune cells may contribute to the faster development of clogged arteries in smokers. 8. Use alcohol in moderation. When used in moderation, the ethanol in alcoholic drinks increases HDL and reduces the risk of heart disease. A study of 18 adult women found that drinking 24 grams of alcohol from white wine daily improved HDL by 5%. Compared to drinking equal amounts of white grape juice, alcohol also improves reverse cholesterol transport, meaning cholesterol is removed from blood and vessel walls and taken back to the liver. This reduces the risk of clogged arteries and heart disease. 9. Consider plant sterols and stanols. Multiple types of supplements show promise for managing cholesterol. Plant stanols and sterols are plant versions of cholesterol. Because they resemble cholesterol, they are absorbed from the diet like cholesterol. However, because parts of their chemistry are different from human cholesterol, they do not contribute to clogged arteries. Instead, they reduce cholesterol levels by competing with human cholesterol. When plant sterols are absorbed from the diet, this replaces the absorption of cholesterol. 10. Try supplements. There is strong evidence that fish oil and soluble fiber improves cholesterol and promote heart health. Another supplement, Coenzyme Q10 is showing promise in improving cholesterol. Although its long-term benefits are not yet known. That was all about today's topic. We will meet you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching my video.